Hello everyone, welcome to the course Computer Networks and Data Communication Essentials. This is a concise and comprehensive course about the computer networks in which I have tried to explain the computer networks in an easy to understand manner. And in order to explain the computer networks, we are using internet as an example. Now, the course begins with the introduction to the computer networks. What is a computer network? What is the architecture of the internet? And what are the nuts and the bolts of the internet? Now, internet is a complex computer network that uses many different types of protocols and many different types of devices. And in order to understand the internet, we need to simplify this complexity of the internet. And this is done using a layered approach. That means that the protocols that are used on the internet, they are divided into these five layers. And these five layers together, they are called as the IP protocols stack and we will discuss the protocols used on these layers one by one starting from the topmost layer and then going to the lower layers because this is the most intuitive approach in order to understand the computer networks. So at the start of the application layer, we are going to discuss that what is the architecture of a networking application, whether it is a client server architecture or whether it is a peer to peer architecture. And after that, we are going to discuss that how processes that are on different computers, they communicate with one another using the application layer protocols. And after that, we are going to discuss the famous application layer protocols. And then we are going to discuss that what are cookies and why are they used in the computer network. And after that, we will move to the transport layer. And in the transport layer, we will compare and contrast the TCP and the UDP protocols, which are two of the most widely used transport layer protocols. We are going to discuss that how multiplexing and the demultiplexing is done at the transport layer. What are the details of the UDP protocol and in what scenarios UDP protocol is used? What is the frame structure of the TCP protocol and how the TCP protocol ensures the reliability, flow control and congestion control and what is the three-way handshake in order to establish the TCP connection. And then we are going to move to the network layer. And in the network layer, we are going to discuss the key functions of a router, which are routing and forwarding. We are going to discuss that how IP addressing and subnetting is done and how we use the hierarchical addressing in order to do the IP range aggregation in the routers in order to reduce the size of the router entries. We are going to discuss the DHCP protocol which is used in order to assign IP addresses to the computers. We will discuss that what is network address translation, why it is used and what are the problems associated with the network address translation. And then we discuss that what are the routing protocols that are used at the network layer. Now, internet is composed of many networks and inside a network, we use the interior gateway protocol. This protocol may be a type of the distance vector routing or it may be a type of the link state routing. We will also discuss the border gateway protocol, which is used between different networks. We will also discuss the ICMP protocol, which is used in order to manage the computer networks. And we will also briefly touch the IP version 6 protocol. And then we will move to the link layer. And in this section, we are going to discuss that what is the difference between a switch and a router? What is a network interface card and how the network interface card is used? What are the services that are provided by the link layer? And what are the multiple access protocols that are defined at the link layer? Whether they are the channelization protocols or the random access protocols or the control access protocols. We are going to explain them. And in the link layer, we are also going to discuss that what is the difference between the IP address and the MAC address, how the address resolution protocol works, 
and how the IP packets are routed from one subnetwork to another subnetwork. Also, we will explain the Ethernet protocol which is used in the wired local area networks, what is the frame structure of this protocol, and how a switch that is using this protocol it works. And also we will explain the virtual LANs and what is the motivation and the use of the virtual LANs. And then we will discuss the physical layer which is the bottom most layer. And we will discuss that how physical layer of the Ethernet standard has evolved over time. And what are the common implementations of the physical layer for the standard Ethernet and the physical layer of the fast and the gigabit Ethernet. And what is the physical medium that is used in these implementations and what are the connectors that are used in these implementations. And finally, we explain the computer network security. What are the firewall fundamentals? What are the different types of firewalls? Like we have stateless firewalls, we have stateful firewalls, and we have application gateways. And we are going to discuss that how these firewalls are used in order to protect a computer network.